Custom, SE Custom, excuse me. This guitar is made in uh, Korea, South Korea, under the specifications of the Paul Reed Smith Guitar Corporation. And uh, it's a copy of a Paul Reed Smith that originally were made in America, but this one's been made in Korea to keep the price down, right? These guitars retail for 600, unlike the American version of this, this being the copy of that, which is more like a two, three, four thousand dollar guitar. Uh, it's got a beautiful flame maple cap or top on it. It's got maple binding around the edge and uh, some mahogany guitar I believe inside underneath the finish <laughs> and uh, it's got PRS machine heads that are kind of like a shallower copy really but uh, the original PRS uh, machine heads had this locking mechanism on the top you just run the string through and you tighten up the uh, tighten up the uh, the, uh, the, uh, the head there and uh, the, it would already automatically lock onto the string so there wouldn't be any slippage but that was a difficult thing to deal with for some people like me I'm you know uh, not quick at these things but I prefer this type of simplistic or traditional machine head over and above the uh, the original ones that they used to have uh, it's got a graphite nut, Y, so the string can slip in and out of there without any uh, catch. You know, it's, it's got a slick surface so the strings don't catch and get pinched in there and cause the guitar to go out of tune. Uh, this guitar does have a whammy bar system. Uh, the the, the uh, whammy bar wasn't in the, uh, the gig bag, so I, I can't uh, demonstrate uh, how that works, but uh, that was one of the things I liked about the uh, Paul Reed Smith guitars, is that they were a lot like a Les Paul, but it also had a whammy bar system on it that worked really good. So you got the sort of a combination of a Gibson type guitar with a, you know, a whammy bar or Fender style tremolo system. So yet, hopefully, uh, close to being the best of both worlds. These. Uh, pickups they call zebra pickups are uh, designed or stylized after the uh, pickups in the 50s the Les Pauls and some Gibson guitars had pickups that looked like this with a, a black and white or cream colored single coil pickup the humbucking pickup designed to uh, eliminate or help alleviate 60 cycle hum which you get from neon lights and refrigerators and that. Plus it gives you a nice you know, fat sound. got these neat looking uh, half moons or crescent moon inlay so it's got some dark mother of pearl with white you know mother of pearl to give it a crescent moon look which is kind of 
tastefully done. It's got a 22 fret neck. Uh, some guitars have a 24 fret neck, which is, it, it duplicates the 12 frets here up here, you know. But these four dots represent those four dots. So whatever you play down here, got the same thing on octave higher up here. Well, I've told you all the things that I like about this guitar, and it sounds good. I think it's a funky, bluesy sound. guitar. Uh, one thing I noticed is when I was uh, strumming over the guitar, my, uh, my hand was hitting this, this bridge piece right there. That is very sharp right there and I'm sure in a wild uh, you know, show if I'm jumping around and throwing my uh, hand around and strumming wildly like Pete Townsend say, I'm going to cut myself on that. So uh, that should be looked at by the quality control department. They should uh, round those edges off so you know you're not endangering your hand uh, by hitting that. That's, that's as sharp as a, a nail right there. So you got that to deal with. The other thing I, I can't understand is why they only put one volume control and one tone control because if you have a separate volume and tone control for each pickup when you put the switch in the middle position you can get uh, you know a blend of these two pickups and get a different sound altogether by adjusting the, the different volume controls, which is usually a nice feature. I, I've talked to other guitar players that always like that about Les Pauls and SGs. Uh, I suppose if you just wanted a more simplistic uh, approach to your guitar, you would just have it like this, but it's always nice to have separate controls for each pickup, so it doesn't have that. As far as this, you know, black area, shadowed area, I guess that's all right. It gives you a nice access. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how that looks to you, but I guess that looks okay, like that, that's shadowed out. You know, a lot of times when guitars are cut away, uh, they don't have material right there. It just goes right straight through, like the top part here where you don't have any wood there. Well, here they have wood, you know, there, but since it's exposed, they painted it black, so it's, you don't, your eyes don't go straight to it. Uh, my biggest complaint about this guitar is the way they have left this big knob here, you know, of wood. I know that bolt-on neck guitars like Stratocasters and Telecasters have that. You know, it's a, you know, it's a, a, a you know, a, a quality that you can't really get rid of when you're bolting a neck onto an instrument. But uh, here they've left this great, you know, honking piece of wood, and I'm sure it's because it keeps a, the uh, the strength of the neck up, you know, where the neck joins. But they could have at least contoured this edge here and made it so you don't, you know, you don't really feel that as you're uh, coming back up here like that. Well, right away when I come back here, I feel this great big, like, you know, edge of wood and block of wood here, rather than just as the contour of the neck, like some of the other guitars I've demonstrated that have that kind of feature, which is much uh, more pleasurable and much more comfortable to play. This, if I'm up here, you know, playing around the 17th fret or the 19th fret, uh, I feel this, you know, kind of thing impeding my... Uh, you know my way as I'm coming up here, so that that's that's uh, you know that's an ugly design right there. They uh, they could do something about that. Anyway, outside of that, for 600 bucks, this is a really nice guitar. Mm -hmm.